What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic Mod Am Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We do have some brand new WWE Mattel action figure reveals for you guys that did take place at Vegas Toy Con. Now, I think it's kind of crazy how, you know, well, I guess I know why this is, but it's kind of crazy how this con kind of snuck up on us due to you just, I guess, everything going on in the world right now. And we were so focused on other, you know, cons that come up. You know, San Diego Comic Con, New York Toy Fair, when those come up, we know. It's probably because they're much bigger and there's much, there's, you know, many more reveals at those shows but this one just kind of snuck up on us it was here and now it's here and whatever but we do have some action figure reveals that i am excited to get into guys so let's go ahead and just get started with it bill you know the head designer over at mattel for the elite line is over there and he did reveal some new stuff for us so let's go ahead and take a look at it the first figure that we do have guys is elite series 77 aj styles in the OC gear with the red and black attire. Now, I think it's insane because, uh, you know, uh, we've been talking about it for months. Like, months and months we've been talking about how the Elite Series 77 wave is going to be, uh, you know, SummerSlam waved just like Elite Series 68 was last year. Bill came out and said it in an interview. And we have been confirming and talking about Elite Series 77 and what figures were in that wave. And it just continues to unfold that we were correct about those lineups. So I think that's awesome to know that, you know, the sources that we find and the sources that we... That we get here on the channel and that we you know find out things from is uh, pretty accurate so I don't think they've been wrong just yet and it continues here with this AJ Styles here in the OC attire and it looks great it looks just like SummerSlam 2019 this is not his 2018 attire we did know that it would come down to either his 2018 SummerSlam attire where he took on Samoa Joe or it would be this attire where he took on Ricochet now one thing I will say is this figure is probably going to come with the US Championship it could it could not just because he is getting a t-shirt and and a vest and the t-shirt is made of rubber which is unfortunate but it's not a big deal we do get the red gloves it looks good you got the knee pad there with the logo on it i like the colors we got going on not my favorite attire because it's another black attire for aj styles we have seen four five aj styles now elites that have a black attire we got the 47 we got the 51 we have the one top talents we have the elite 61 we have this one and i think there may be even another one. Oh yeah the other top talents with the black and green so i mean they always give them the green or the they always give them the black attires which is unfortunate i would love to see a red aj styles i think everybody would because we really want a red attire i know a bunch of people in the community want one but this aj looks good for what it is if you want to update aj styles here it is elite series 77 obviously there is a delay on this figure when we get it it'll probably be behind schedule but you know what that's all right we got to deal with what we got to deal with right now that's not the only figure we got from elite series 77 though guys we did also get to see ronda rousey now this ronda rousey figure is from SummerSlam a couple years ago or is it last year i can't freaking remember man my brain is fried i think it's from it's obviously not from 2019 so it'd have to be from 2018 correct so here is ronda rousey with her black attire and it looks good man the one thing that does suck about it is that uh, she is not going to be ultimate so this figure is not going to be as well articulated as the ultimate edition Ronda Rousey which is a figure I absolutely adore. I think that'd be a really cool head swap to do this figure with the eye makeup onto her ultimate edition but I don't think it would be that difficult to convert this figure into an ultimate edition. I wonder if her arms could go on from the ultimate edition figure onto this one and you could convert it that way. Hopefully that's something that, that's not too difficult. Also with the feet, maybe the feet will be similar because I uh, I really love the Ultimate Edition figure. I think it's one of my favorite figures Mattel has ever made, which is very ironic because usually the women's figures are terrible and it ends up being one of the best ones. But this Elite Series 77 Ronda looks pretty good. No updated head sculpt. It looks very similar to her last one. But I am actually a fan of this figure because of the double-jointed knees and the, the possibility of making it an Ultimate Edition really intrigues me. So I am going to attempt that. But we do have Elite Series 77 Ronda Rousey here in the house with Elite Series 77 AJ Styles. Now the reveal do not end there guys we are moving on to a target or walmart exclusive i can't remember i think it's supposed to be target exclusive i think at one point it was even elite series 78 for this figure but we have a classy freddie blassie here in the full red and we have seen renders of this figure and finally having it here in hand it looks great uh obviously not in my hand you know what i mean here on display in full plastic form not just a you know whatever we've seen a prototype of this figure before i think it was at san, san diego comic-con almost a year back 
we did see this figure on display but it was the prototype figure so this is really good to see it comes with the number one finger you got the cane holding hand you get the cane and it looks great man I'm, I'm really excited for this I may even make this man one of the GMs on uh, on the pick fed one once it's time for this figure to release I don't know I just like the way he looks I think he looks badassery and uh, he'd make for a good character on screen and maybe he could be the one that goes over to Vindication finally get the control out of Kenny's hands or something I don't know I really want to see this guy on MDT television as the GM so I'll probably see that happening for the pick fed moving forward but he looks good man I think overall the the cloth jacket looks absolutely fantastic I think the head sculpt looks absolutely fantastic they capture the likeness beautifully I love the expression going on the hair sculpt everything about it man really good figure can't wait to hold it in hand and get a review up for you guys once this thing finally does release if my target or Walmart even gets the damn thing because I never get any exclusives only one I really ever found was Pat Patterson never found any of the others that's another argument for a freaking another day but not only do we have Freddie Blast Ronda Rousey and AJ Styles guys we also have a look at Elite Series 77 Rick Rude now I don't know I think he's supposed to be the chase variant in the set Rick Rude is supposed to be the chase variant and I'm not sure if this is the chase variant version or the regular version I want to say this is the regular version I'm not sure exactly what tights he's going to get on his chase variant but I really like this I think all Rick Rude figures are nice if you guys have ever owned a Rick Rude Elite from Mattel you guys should know that they are very nice um, they look great I love that the they use Use the you know Ziggler Randy Orton style body mold. They always do that for Rick Rude, and it's perfect, man, because he was jacked. He looked absolutely fantastic, and Rick Rude is just so beautiful, man. I love the head sculpt. I love the curly hair we got going on. From behind, it looks a little bit odd. Like, I feel like from the front, it looks good. And then when you flip him around, I feel like the hair looks kind of crazy. I don't know. It kind of looks like, I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain. But I love the flame pants we got going on with the Ultimate Warrior. Uh, just really sick. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't capture all the details that Airbrush really does capture. Um, but um, it kind of looks just straight up, you know, applied on, which it is because it's plastic and not actual cloth tights that have airbrush on them. But uh, nonetheless, they look good, and I really love these boots. I think the boots look freaking fantastic, and his boots are a little bit taller because uh, that's the kind of style he wore. So I think that trend continues from his last elites as well. So this Rick Rude figure looks great, man. They got the tattoo on there and everything. So Rick Rude's looking like, a, looking like a badass. Really underrated part of the set. I, I know that a lot of flashback collectors are going to be excited for this Rick Rude figure. So Rick Rude looks good. We have AJ Styles. We have Rondo. We have Freddie Blassie. And we did have, for some reason, I think they showed off this new Rock Basic. Now, the reason they showed off the Rock Basic, I think, is because of his tattoo. But this picture quality is... Uh, just I don't know I, I don't know what's up with this this picture quality I don't know if they just didn't have a really good photographer or if the I, I don't know what's up it's kind of like you guys can see on the behind image it's kind of blurry there but uh, his new tattoo is a part of this figure so I think that's really badass so you do have the uh, the new tattoo applied there it's not an elite obviously but it is what it is if you're interested in that so we did have that rock basic and another thing that I was also curious about is that uh, we didn't have any more reveals but we did, uh, we know what the Viscera figure, like we've seen a prototype of the Viscera figure, so I don't know why the Viscera figure was not on display. We've seen the render image of it fully, and we've seen the prototype on display at one of those, I think it was the one in the UK possibly. We saw that, like, prototype image, and the figure's mainly black, and we've seen, you know, King Mabel before, so I don't really know why uh, we don't have it here on display. I guess it's just not fully ready yet. Maybe it's because it's so much plastic. But again, we've seen the full prototype. They pretty much had all the parts. It's just basically getting them in black. So I don't know what the process for that is. But uh, the King Mabel figure is a really strong figure. So I know the Viscera figure is going to follow suit. And I think the only other figure that was not seen from this wave is the Fiend Bray Wyatt. So we didn't see the, the Viscera Elite from Elite Series 77, and we did not see Bray Wyatt the Fiend. So I'm guessing they're going to hold off on the Fiend until it is absolutely time. I don't remember when San Diego Comic-Con is. I think, I, I want to say it's like in June, like the middle of June. I could be wrong about that. It's like middle of June, middle of July, one of those. They could be holding off till then. I don't know when these figures are set to release. I know that we do have a delay on Elite Series 76, and we're probably going to have a delay on Elite Series 77 as well because that's going to create you know sort of like a highway you know when you get backed up on one the rest of them get backed up so I'm guessing that's probably what's going to take place but you know we got to do what we got to do to stay safe out here so um that is pretty much it for the reveals I mean if if they post up anything else I will definitely showcase it to you guys here is a full 
image of the uh, you know the full display. You got Bill there. You got all the figures on display right there. You got the new Legends, you know, not Network Spotlight, but the new Legends line returning back to Target exclusive there on display. You have Elite Series 76 on the far right. You have the little pack of Elite Series 77 there with the four figures. Again, no Viscera, no Bray Wyatt, Fiend. And then you have the Legends line. You have some basics. You have some battle packs. And uh, that is pretty much it. So then you have Bill over there. But that pretty much does it for the reveals for Las Vegas Toy Con or Vegas Toy Con, guys. If, uh, again, if we get any more reveals, if they end up showing us anything else, I will definitely put it up to you guys and react. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Let me know what you think of the reveals down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.